Hey there fellas, Alex here giving you just a, um, an, a bench update. Has been quite a while since my last one, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. I have been busy. Sorry for the lack of videos and the time for school is a pain in the backside. And I'm, I barely have any time for myself to go ahead and build models. But uh, let me just go ahead and show you some of the new goodies that I picked up. I got Rebel's Leopard 2, Leopard 2 A4, sorry for glare. Um, I have a Hobby Boss. Is it Hobby Boss? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, so I have a Hobby Boss um, Leopard 2. Um, I've yet to build it because I have to buy tracks for it. Um, the Hobby Boss tracks, I took them out of the box and just gave them just a, just a tad little tug and they just blew up into pieces. I believe they were vinyl tracks. No, they couldn't be. They were way too thin. Um, think of like extremely flimsy DS tracks. Dragon DS tracks. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> with the leopard, this is where we are now, so we stand. And I'm sorry for the, I'm, I'm not feeling too well right now. I'm just getting over a pretty bad cold. Anyways, this is what we got so far of the leopard. It was a nice build. It's very straightforward out of the box. I guess, I mean, it's like a, I would label this with the Tamiya kit. It was really nice. Um, the only bad part about it was that sometimes, at least with the rear part, as the rear rear of the deck fit with the tank itself, it was too big, sticking on each side, but that was fixed just by some filing down. It went together really nice. No problems at all putting it together, in which all the road wheels move, of which won't really do make much of a difference anyway. Um, the tank is really nice putting it straight forward. Unfortunately, there is a lot of flash. Um, this is my first Rebel model completed like this, and this is also my first piece of modern armor. Um, but for a first, I guess it's alright. It's, it's pretty nice to go ahead and tinker around. Um, probably the next modern piece I'll do is a T90 of company-wise, I have no idea. The Meng T90 looks great. Um, I've seen some videos on Cevesda. Cevesda T90 looks really well. Looks really good, and the new Trumpeter T90 looks fantastic. But despite that, go ahead and put this up in storage. The next piece, I actually just just finished this um, earlier earlier this afternoon. But of my the one seventy second scale piece of armor that I'll be keeping for myself, for I've used these more so as like just tokens of gratitude. I give I make them for thanks. And just those little gifts. Some more there. There we are. This is a uh, Tiger One Dragons 172nd scale Tiger One late production with the Zimmerit. This was the, from what I've heard, from what, what I've looked up and read on the box, this is the first 172nd scale model with Zimmerit molded onto it. Apparently, it looks really, really nice. I had a lot of fun building this little tank and putting it together. Really, really nice little build. Yeah, I just just put on the matte coat of this maybe about 20 minutes ago. So this is completely fresh off the bench. Finished and complete. You can see it's in the snow along top of the deck. This is really nice. I think the guys over at the Model Club will be real happy to see this on Thursday. And then the only other thing that I'll add to it is some soot for the barrel. But despite that, she's complete. Alright. That's that. Um, also completed the Stuart. To me is M5 Stuart. Is it M5? Yes, M5A1 Stuart. This is a really nice straightforward kit. Um, pretty old from what I understand. But it was really nice. Went together really well. I'm not too happy with how it came out. This is my first piece of American armor, or really any allied armor, I should say, overall. First piece of allied armor ever done. Uh, the green that I used was a bit too dark, and then after doing a wash on it, kind of darkened it up some more. But I think it looks pretty nice. For a first, first allied piece, she'll do. She'll definitely go on the shelf. Um, I recommend this kit. This was really nice, straightforward, straight out of the box. No aftermarket done on here. Just a stretch, stretch screw for the antenna. I believe um, probably the next 
American vehicle I get is, I think it's Dragon's Sherman 1, I mean Sherman 1, wow. uh, Sherman Initial Production. I think it's a, a British tank. Pretty sure the box art because of the British markings. QDC, I know, made a video on it, so if you want to go ahead and check that one out, definitely go ahead and check out his channel. But let's see here, this is the Stuart, first for American armor. First for Allied armor, excuse me. <clears throat> All right, and the other two, two more goodies that I'll go ahead and show off now. My favorite tank of the Second World War, one of them at least, under the Tiger. I have Tristar's German Panzerkampfwagen 38T LCF. Uh, this this kit alone, I, I pretty much just bought this one, despite being half off. It was just, I mean, it just, it just looks cool. It just looks cool. Love the box art and everything on it. Um, I bought a um, Tristar Panzer, Panz, Flak Panzer One, excuse me, Flak Panzer One. It looks really, really nice. The Tristar kits are packed to the top with sprues. Um, this this kit actually it, it features a ton of marking options and painting options for for all throughout 1941 and 42. This here. This is like a lot of fun. Um, there's a ton of parts for this kit, and I believe it actually comes with an interior. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll almost likely do a kit review on this um, eventually later on. I'm real happy to go ahead and take a look into this kit. And the next and final goodie piece. My other favorite tank, one of my favorite vehicles of the Second World War. Dragon Stug 3 Model G early production with Extra Schutzen armor. And also a smart kit. Comes with most of an interior. It's real nice marking options. Lovely magic tracks. Gun interior, gun breach inside. Looks like a really nice model. Uh, this is the my number one uh, variation of the Stug 3 tank. A love that I share with Panzermeister 36 for the vehicle. Sorry for that total shake. Um, yeah, these are the new these are the new goodies that are going to go ahead and be on be on the bench. Um, if you'd like to see any inbox reviews, please go ahead and let me know into the comments. I'll most likely do one on the TriStar. Um, I don't think I've done any on the TriStars yet, and that'll answer a lot of questions for me and and some of the viewers because apparently TriStar models is not around anymore. Apparently, it is. A lot of places don't have it. A lot of places online don't have any of their models. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll definitely break open a box or two and one of their figures because I have a, a figure um, set of them too. So I'll go ahead and I'll do a review on both of them to go ahead and give an overall uh, what do I think on the company itself. But till then guys, <coughs> oh excuse me, till then be good I'll see you on the battlefield.